Wow. Wow. The camp. We're nine this week. Nine. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Gonna try to go for uh, one, one, one. Who know? Oh, We're all good. Plenty of time, bro. I don't listen to him after his first run. I'm sure that everyone's bike feels terrible first run. You know the wet screens are nice for cutting straight through the mud, but where there's any rocks or roots, we try and get something with a little bit more rubber on the floor. Um, shorties on, and uh, flat pedals. I changed the gearing a little bit, and uh, we're gonna have a go today. Mountain Germany, Leo Ganga, with the, the mountain. German mountains lurking under the fog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Steve, that was your fringe. I didn't um, enjoy Fort William this year at all, the riding wise. The track was just so rocky and dry and fast. It just seemed mega dangerous. So nice to get that one out of the way in one piece. And uh, yeah, man, get some sideways on in the dirt. Uh, the bus stops, I, I felt really at home on them. I haven't got a free bus pass quite yet, but only a couple of years I'll get my free bus pass. Uh, it looked pretty good in where we walked it yesterday, so yeah, just looking forward to a few runs today, getting to know the track, just getting up to speed. <laughs> Dancing, what's the plan for this morning? Just going up a bit of a boogie on track, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I wasn't really flowing well on the track. And we we're trying, I was flipping back between lines. So maybe that's why I didn't have a flow because I was too busy focused on what will happen if it's wet. So I need to get up now and see what it's like in the wet. I've forgotten about last week. It's all about this week now. That's, that's what sucks about it. That you can't even carry that confidence. It's just a long distant memory in the back of your head now. It's all about today and tomorrow. Just gotta get through it though, stay feet up and just try and carry a bit of speed out. Got it good a couple of times this morning, so pretty happy. I think you just need to get a solid run and good go hard on the pedaling today. It's got sticky up there, so could be knackered by the bottom. Come over another brown. There's a load of new routes, more well, sight and more exposed than previously. We just took my front wheel there quick and then sort of lost my bike and had to run up, got my gloves dirty. Crowd were going mental still, so I jumped back on over the next stump. Went over again. So, I'm buzzing for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm feeling confident still. Just a little bit frustrating, I lost points again. I I felt conservative and I know I was very conservative at the top, I was nervous in that rock section. I then came back on the gas, which was pretty cool. And then, probably 25 seconds of track, I lost like two and a half to three seconds on the gas. And you know, I was just trying a line, which now I know is not the line to do. So, it's going to be a bit of excitement, knowing that I was running a, a real good pace. Now it's just to put it all together to more exciting close calls.
yeah, that's way better. That's like 50. That's like made in another. That's made in another 50. Well, another 100, actually, isn't it? Yeah, we're yeah, we're just reminiscing on the uh, two years ago. This is the last, last size wheel to win a World Cup, 26 inch. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was you. Yeah. I know. Wasn't it? Yeah, you're the last person to ever win a World Cup on 26 inch wheel. No way. No, seriously. <laughs> Changed my line down the bottom rocks. Happy with that. Um, that I just sprayed the hole inside of my helmet. So I just wanted to be on a line, maybe slow through the rock, but carry speed and the little bus stop off there. So, feel quite good. Got a bit loose there. I think Mono got that. <laughs> I just raised the bars a bit just so I can lean back and get loose through the rough. And that's about it. Well, in fact, it was pretty good. The track was really sticky and sloppy, so pretty hard work getting through sections, but I felt like I rode quite good. And still thinking on lines now, there's a safe line or there's a bit of a sketchy line. You know, just still deciding. Rookie season for him, but he's got a lot of confidence. It's all about confidence, I'm told by the old man. Normally that first section for me is, uh, I'm not, I need to kind of get into my, my race. And on this track being so short and fast, I need to kind of be on it a bit quicker. So I worked hard to get that time. It's okay, I'm on the podium, I'm stuck with that. Some near crashes down below though, but these gangly legs managed to pull me through. I think Gwynny got very lucky being last man down. He got a lot of drier track. Could have probably had him if it hadn't dried out so much. Oh, 